Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. I hope, I hope you find this to be entertaining and educational. I am currently located at Stephen F. Austin State Park. And I got the, the mobility scooter out and I'm exploring the trail system here at Stephen F. Austin State Park. Now I just completed the Ironwood Trail that runs all the way around here. And now I'm over here by the amphitheater and the bird bath. And this trail looks very intriguing. And possibly this one. But I'm definitely going to take you on, and it's not named, so that makes me wonder, what's it all about? So let's go find out. We're ready to go. Let's cue some good music. I really am enjoying my visit here at Stephen F. Austin State Park. So many trails to be able to get out on with the mobility scooter. It's kind of a rare thing finding a, a park that's got so many well-developed scooter-friendly trails. Not a whole lot of people out on the trails today. Of course, it is Monday, early April. Not early April, late April. It is April 21 or April 22nd. I don't know, I don't know what day it is. This has the appearance of being having been paved once in the past. Either that or they just brought out a bunch of crushed asphalt. But I'm, I'm thinking this was, at one point, a paved road. This area floods frequently. Stephen F. Austin State. Oh man, that's, that's a rough spot right there. Stephen F. Austin is located on the banks 
of the Brazos River, the lower Brazos River. And in the spring, when we get our seasonal monsoon rains here in Texas, this part of the Brazos River gets real high. Trail's kind of rough down in this part of the, this part of the trail is rough, but it's entirely, entirely doable on the scoot. Crossroads. Let's see. There's the bottom trail. We'll go on this one. I don't know which one this is. I think this is going to loop back around to that T in the road. We just, that first T in the road. You remember back where that covered pavilion was. We got a chance of rain in the forecast for tonight. There are wild pigs down here tearing things up. Those wild pigs do more damage in the state of Texas than anything else. See where all the, the ground is tore up. Unfortunately, we will never be able to get rid of them. Wild pig is not the proper term. Feral is the proper term. They're actually a hybrid feral hog. <laughs> Allergy season. Certainly don't want to have, have a scooter failure way out here. Make sure your scooter is in good condition before you come down on this trail because we're way out here. or seem to be way out here. Uh-oh. 
Gotta, gotta heal. If that had not been loose gravel, I could have made it. The little red just couldn't get a good bite. Even with the knobby front tire. And sure enough, that was the Copperhead Trail. Hey, if you enjoyed our ride down the Copperhead Trail, please consider giving me a thumbs up and sharing me on your social media. If you're this is if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I sure appreciate you clicking on the subscribe button or at least considering it. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. Especially to my patrons. Thank you very much. That's why I do what I do. Take you to all of these beautiful take you to all of these beautiful places. Y'all come back now, you hear?